All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the graph. So at the top, go to Insert and Charts. We're going to select a scatter chart, no lines. Hopefully it comes up blank. If not, go to right click, select data, and then make sure to hit remove. Select any of the entries that may exist and hit remove. With everything gone, you will go to add. This will be, I'll title this graph speed of sound. Our x values, those should be our independent variables. In this case, we measured the frequency, but we are going to put the period, which is 1 over frequency, on the x-axis. So left click, drag, hold. Those are the x values. The y values, we're going to plot the wavelength. Not the average quarter wavelength, the average wavelength. We hit OK and OK again. And it's mostly linear. That looks pretty good. I'm going to add axis titles. And I can make this graph larger. This will be a period. And the units are seconds. This will be wavelength. And the units are meters, lowercase m, excuse me. And now we are going to add, click on here, a trend line. Click this arrow to the right, more options, excuse me. All right, sorry about that. And now if you're under format trend line, make sure these vertical green bars are selected for the data. And we'll scroll down, display equation on chart. This equation is y equals m, which is the slope, times x plus b. b is the y-intercept. The slope of the line gives us the wave speed, 3.28.57. That would be my wave speed, and the units are the y units divided by x units. All right, so we have the wave speed from the slope. You'll record that value with units, and you'll submit this file to the hub. The document, the handout, you will turn in in class. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Study well.